Hey everyone, in this video I'm just going to show you how you Panopto works in Canvas. So Panopto is all integrated into Canvas and it's ready to go. So on the left hand side in all of your courses you'll have this Panopto recordings option. So if you click on that, it'll load the Panopto uh, administrative interface in Canvas here. And you'll notice it'll go straight to the folder for your course. Okay, so it, this will populate from Canvas and I've, these are the courses that I've actually gone in with Panopto with. Um, to create a Panopto recording, all you need to do is go and hit Create and Record a New Session. If you don't have the recorder software already installed, much like Tegrity, um, there's the option here to download it or it'll just automatically launch the application right here. So when the application launches, there's a couple of default options. I've got my webcam on, of course, hello. Um, I've got a primary screen capture that's being recorded, and then I've got the option to do a PowerPoint. So what Panopto does is it actually records multiple video streams at the same time. If I had a second camera, maybe like over there or something, I can actually turn that on and record that, and it'll all be part of one recording. Um, for the screen capture, I can change the resolution, I can make it smaller, I can change the bitrate, which is basically the, the size of the data. Um, here we go, that's going to make it smaller and faster to load. Um, but I don't actually want this primary screen to be recorded. I just want to give a PowerPoint. Um, so there's two ways to turn these off. You can just click X here, and then I'm left with PowerPoint. And when I did that, I've got these secondary capture sources. So I can turn these off and on. So I, say I don't want a PowerPoint, I can turn that off. If I don't want a primary screen, all right now I'm recording is my webcam. So I'm going to record a PowerPoint right here. And before I record, what I want to do is I want to go up to the top here, and it says folder name. So I'm actually recording this to the computer right now. It's an offline recording. I don't want to record it to my computer. I want it to actually upload to uh, uh, the Panopto server, and I want it to go into my education folder. So I click this big drop-down button here, and I've given a bunch of, I'm given a bunch of options for where, what folder I want to do, put this recording in. So I'm going to click Add New Session, and that's Panopto's word. The session is Panopto's word for a new recording. So I will add a new recording, and then I'm just going to rename it. I'm just going to call this um, Teaching Strategies, because that's what my PowerPoint is all about. That's what my uh, lecture is on. Now I can uh, click this button here to webcast it, which is a live online version of the recording so your students can actually log in and look at the recording as you're making it essentially if you're doing this in a classroom. I don't want to do a live webcast at this point I just want to record this and then they look at it later. So at this point I've got PowerPoint is not running I can open a presentation here and then I will look for my presentation here's my teaching strategies presentation and it will say begin recording after PowerPoint opens yes that's exactly what I want to do so I'm going to hit yes, and the Panopto software will actually uh, go into the background and PowerPoint will come up. So um, this is going full screen now, so you can actually see that um, a bit of it is cropped. But I'm going to go through, here's my effective teaching strategies, creating food safe schools. I don't know what that has to do with teaching strategies, but oh well. So I can go through my PowerPoint, and I'm recording, and I'm going through, and I'm talking, and I'm answering questions, and basically like a, a standard lecture that you would give. Now when I'm done with my lecture, um, in PowerPoint, I would just close the presentation or it's end it, and I'm just going to hit Escape on my keyboard to end it. And uh, what I need to do then is I'm still recording. So I need to bring back up, I'm, you can't see this, but I'm going down into my taskbar and I'm going to bring up the Panopto recorder again. And so here I am. My presentation is open, but it's not currently presenting. So when I'm ready to go, all I need to do is just stop my presentation, and this will actually automatically start uploading it immediately. So it says your recording has been completed successfully, you will now be taken to the recording status tab. And it looks like it's already been uploaded. So here's my teaching strategies, already been uploaded. So um, if you have a very long one, it'll, sh it'll show a little kind of status bar with a progress bar saying it's been uploaded. But this has already been uploaded, so I'm ready to go. I can actually close this, and I will go back to my Canvas. And if I go into my Education 281 folder now, there's my recording, that's, and it says it's waiting to be processed. So it's not quite ready for students to watch yet, um, but it will be probably in a few minutes. This is a very short recording, only about 54 seconds, so it should be ready in about five minutes, I'd say. So now my recording is done, and I can actually look at it if I just click on it right here. 
So this is what it'll look like for students, actually. Blah, blah, so you can blah, see blah, me talking, blah, and I'm just going to yeah, pause yeah, it right yeah. here. But uh, students actually have the option of looking at you here. Um, they can make that larger, of course. And they can look at the screen. This is the actual screen recording you can see as I play it. Oriented, of course they are. This is the entire screen, or I can just go to the slides, and it will show the slides. And I can show all the different slides here, or I can actually show the screen. So now I'm back to uh, the actual screen capture. So as I said, um, it collects all the multiple uh, video feeds. I've got my video here, I've got my screen capture, and I've got my slides all at the same time. Now a super cool thing is that if I want to actually search the slides for a specific uh, word, then I can go over here on the left hand side and I can search that. So if I want to search for, um, I heard goal oriented is something. So if I click search here, that will search all of my PowerPoints for text in that. So if I click on this, this says that at the 13 second mark, I'm actually on that slide that has the word goal in it, which is super cool. So I can click on that and it'll jump to that point in the recording and I can just start uh, playing it from this point on. So this is what the students see um, in their view. Um, the top stuff here is uh, local to the instructors because we can go in and we can edit the recording, we can change it, stuff like that. But this is generally what it looks like for students. Okay. So normally when you're done with your recording, you're done. So um, on the left-hand side, students would come in and just go put to Phenopto Recordings, and they would see a list of their own folders um, related to the courses that they're in, related to the course that they're actually in. Now, what you can do is you can also hide the Panopto Recordings left-hand menu from students. And uh, let's see. Nope. Nope. So what you can actually, nope, nope, where are we? So that's briefly how you record a basic lecture. What you can also do under this create option is upload an existing video that you might have. You can create a webcast, which is a live, as I said, w a live lecture that students can tune into essentially, and then it'll be available as a recording later on. Uh, you can also schedule a recording if you want to schedule it in a specific room, something like that. I would talk to e-learning about that. Or you can build your own session, so uploading your slides, your video that's pre-recorded. So the easiest section um, option is probably just record this new session. Um, another thing you can do, which is really neat, is you can actually go into a Canvas page, and I'm going to edit this page, and you can embed your recordings directly into a page, which means that the students don't know, need to go into their Panopto recordings, go into the folder and find the specific uh, recording that you want them to look at. You can actually insert it directly into your modules, into your page. So to do that, under the little, uh, this might change, it might be up here later on, but right now it's under this little drop down. And I'm going to select Panopto Recording, and it'll actually come up with a list of all the recordings for this course. And so I'm going to select this one right here, and then I'm just going to insert it. And once I save those changes, it will actually show directly in my Canvas page. So I hit play here, and this will be kind of a miniature version of what we saw in the blah, blah, other option. Blah, 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 so if I can full screen this, I'll be viewing it in a very similar way. Okay. So those are the basics of how to get your uh, Panopto recording up and going and embedding it into Canvas.